I guess one of the important factors. Do you miss San Antonio? Yes. <laughs> Benito Salazar can afford to joke about being a little homesick. The former Southside High School graduate is taking a full 12 hours this semester, and Benito may be able to afford a lot more stuff in the fall because he's hoping he won't have to pay tuition while he attends college. I thought it was too good to be true. Same goes for Taylor Henderson, Wagner class of 2011. She left her family behind in San Antonio for the chance to experience a debt-free college life. I thought college, you know, you think of all these loans and scholarships you have to get and everything, so I thought it was too good to be true until I figured out that it was actually true and they do try to help you. So where is this magical place where college tuition and fees are paid for? It's not as far away as you might think. Welcome to the University of Houston, Victoria, about a two-hour drive southeast of San Antonio. We're doing something that I think is unique in Texas and perhaps unique in the United States. Dr. And Phil Castile is the year, school's president. Uh, Later this year, as KD part of their UH downward expansion to a four-year university, mm -hmm. UHV will offer what it is calling the UH Victoria Guarantee. It's a financial aid package designed to attract students outside the Victoria area. Beginning in the fall, prospective Jaguars from the San Antonio area whose families earn less than $50,000 a year could have all of their tuition and fees paid for while they get their bachelor's degree here at UHV. The UHV guarantee is not a loan, so it does not have to be paid back. Students would be required to pay for their own housing and books, but qualifying for the program is relatively easy, and it could save a prospective student carrying 15 hours a semester over $5,000 a year. It makes college more affordable for students, like for students who have lower incomes, mm -hmm. like they actually can afford to go to college, like instead of a community college, they can get the four-year experience. I have no debt, you know, and it's free from my mind, you know, it's something I don't have to be worrying about constantly, you know, it's just feels great. We hope to break ground by the end of this year on the new academic building. Remarkably, UH Victoria is able to provide this guaranteed money to its students while meeting the needs of an expanding student body. Two new residence halls are in the works that will provide over 400 additional beds by the fall of 2013. Meanwhile, inside the financial aid office on campus, the forms are ready to be filled out and the phones are starting to ring a little more often. Financial aid, this is Debbie. We've had a, a full kind of court press on letting folks know through college visits and through college fairs and things um, that, that we're here and that we're a new player in the game and we've got a lot to offer. UH Victoria fully expects to compete with the likes of UTSA, UIW, and Texas A&M San Antonio for incoming freshmen later this fall. Those students will join a growing group of San Antonians who are leaving the Alamo City for a small town college experience. So you're living proof that you can get a quality education for little to no money. Yeah. Yeah. It's real, right? <laughs> this is not a dream, can, right? I can pinch you. It's not a dream, right? Yeah, this is real. Yeah.